Hey guys, Mikhail here for another device deal video. Today we're looking at another LG monitor. Now this one I'd say is probably the one of the most unique monitors I've ever experienced and had a go at playing with before. This is the 28MQ780 monitor. So there's a few things that you can already notice straight away with this. It's, it's got more of a much bigger real estate compared to a normal monitor. So it's actually got like a 16 by 18 aspect ratio on this, as you can see from the height of this. So it just gives you kind of the same equivalent of having two 21 and a half inch monitors kind of stacked on top of each other, but all in one. So not only do you get this kind of really funky shape of a, like a kind of a larger rectangle size monitor, but the mount itself is also an incredible feature. Uh, honestly, the mount itself is something I wish LG would sell on their own. It's an incredible, super ergonomic, a lot of weight to it as well, which I'll show you in a little bit. It's just a really good and easy to set up monitor altogether, including the stand. All right guys, now we're gonna show you what's inside the monitor, including the special mount that's included. Okay, so as we open it up, the first thing I do like about it is that it actually does have some images here to give you a bit of an idea on how to actually install and set up the product. You've got your good level of styrofoam, making sure everything's nice and protected. You've got a whole heap of cables inside. Inside here, we'll quickly go through. You've got your uh, HDMI cable, power leads, USB-C, looks like some audio extension cables as well, and of course your power adapter. So including the warranty card stuff as well. As we put that aside, I think we've also got a part for, oh this is just the cable cover, so I think just to hide all your excess cords. Then as we move on, we've got, oof. so it's definitely got a lot of weight to it. So this is the famous mount, ergonomic mount that uh, we've talked about. So first I guess thing I'd like to recognize is that it has got a lot of weight to it. So it feels really sturdy, 100%. A lot of, I definitely would feel safe having this on the monitor. And it's definitely got an interesting shape as well. So, as we open her up. Lots of packaging, keeping it nice and safe. So, there we have it. Like I said, really heavy, very secure. As you can see, you can get all types of motion, all 360 degrees. It's really got endless possibilities as far as the movement goes. Um, we'll pass that down for now. Then as we keep going, then we've got the monitor itself. So as we've always discussed, it is quite unusual. I've never really seen a monitor of this shape and size before. It's kind of like a big square, almost like a big pizza box. Um, but as we've discussed, you know, the whole idea is to have uh, the two double aspect eight ratio, so it's like 16 and 19. So basically it's like the equivalent of having two 21 and a half inch monitors stacked on top of each other. It's a really cool feature and we'll, let's go set it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys how we actually set this monitor arm up. You'd think something that looks this complex would be difficult to do, but honestly, one of the easiest monitors I've actually been able to set up. So you can just see the clamp function down the bottom. That's gonna just go onto the edge of your table and you can change the angle of it. So just by moving this portion up and down, you've gotta find the sweet spot. Once you've done that, link it to your table, which I need to do a little bit further down. And then there's just, a, there's just a basically screw function down the bottom just to tighten it. It's almost like when you used to be one of your woodwork class days with your clamps. So once you've done that, get it nice and tight. And that's it, from there, the monitor's good to go. Look at all the movement you get. 
all the way around. It is quite astounding how far you can go with this thing. And then on top of that, I forgot to mention, you do have this little case cover included, which is gonna hard your cables. So we'll show you once it's set up, the, the cables will kind of feed through here and you can just pop this on just to hide those ones as well. Okay guys, so now I'm just gonna go through a bit of the features and specifications of this monitor. So as you can see, it is a 28 inch, so but obviously a very funky style 28 inch with the more diagonal across. Uh, the resolution on this is a 2560 by 2880. So you're kind of looking at that kind of uh, in between your kind of full HD and 4K or 2K resolution monitors. So something in the middle. Um, it, it's got a really good image, I think, for the size that you've got here. Uh, and you can even do a lot of video editing on it as well. But you know, for people that do need that 4K top end resolution, um, this one is kind of helpful for other areas rather than getting the, the crispest image. I mean, to be fair, the colors on it are unbelievable. And we did some trialing with, even with some video editing stuff and we thought it was fantastic. But we understand sometimes people might be uh, a little bit off put by not having 4K these days, but trust me, this is an amazing monitor that's definitely worth the investment. So the monitor really utilizes all the space you've got on your screen. You know, I for one am someone that on my own monitor screens, I'll have a lot of kind of dead space or things just kind of taking up room for no reason. But with something like this, you can really make sure you're maximizing all the spaces. And while I've talked a lot about uh, the productive side of things, it can also cover some improductive things as well. Uh, if you are a serial social media scroller like myself, you know, on things like Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, something like this, you can get a more fuller image. And hey, for those that actually work in social media, that might even be more productive for your role as well. Uh, on top of that, when you can mention, as I mentioned before, that you can have multiple devices connected at once, it makes it easier to kind of flick between and also give it just that even space and make sure everything's maximized. You know, for me, I like to have my Spotify window open or maybe a Slack window, Microsoft Teams. I can have it all spread throughout the screen without it taking up an overwhelming amount of space and still keeps it even and nice and productive. So with something like this, uh, you really just want to utilize everything you've got uh, and I guess on top of that it's even got speakers built in uh, which I forgot to mention earlier but to be honest they're kind of average speakers if you're going to be doing anything with actual sound you're probably better off using your own uh, your own set of speakers but it is just a nice feature that's built in on top of that as well and when it comes to settings uh, there is quite a lot of settings that you can change around and honestly when it comes to the actual navigation and, and making those changes to the settings this is probably one of the easiest ones we've come across you know just click down the bottom as you can go through you've got your input options settings down the side from your brightness picture sound general you've got a heap of options to choose from very straightforward just easy in and out um, there's not really too much to fault with this monitor so I want to just go through a little bit of the connectivity with you. I already mentioned before that you've got the BPB so you can have multiple uh, displays at once. You've got two different devices at once. So let's now go into how in fact you can do that. So you've got quite a few connections to choose from with this. You've got two HDMI ports, a display port, you've got two USB type A's for downstream, a USB-C which is really important because that allows the output charging as well. So if you're someone that just uses like a regular MacBook device, you can just basically plug that into this. Again, the whole kind of idea of keeping things economic and um, and I guess uh, cleaner, so you know you don't have a lot of extra these wires and cables all over the show. If you're using USB-C devices, whether it's a MacBook or just a laptop or anything else, you can have it hooked straight up to here, saves you another cable lying around and will provide charge at the same time. So really suited for those multi-device kind of people. You've also got a USB type B connection type and then also just a 3.5 millimeter AUX jack. So if you are gonna use either headphones or plug it into a better speaker, that's gonna be the way to go. So I really want to highlight the productivity that a monitor like this can provide. For a lot of different career professionals, like, like we already mentioned, video editing or photo editing, or even just an office worker, maybe you're doing stock trading, uh, the fact that you could have this kind of real estate where you've got essentially two 21-inch monitors stacked on top of each other all in one means you can kind of get all your work done uh, and be able to see a full screen without having to have the two separate monitors. So it keeps your your area a lot more, let's say, neater and cleaner, uh, while also getting you all the work that you can get done on top of that. Another really cool feature that this has is a feature called uh, PBP, which stands for 
picture by picture. Uh, all that does is essentially you can connect multiple inputs to the, um, to the monitor here and have them both displayed at the same time and have it split in half. So for example, you can either have two different computers or maybe a computer and your tablet or even if you really want to go for it, you can even have your PC on the top section and then uh, maybe your gaming setup down the bottom. You can even put in a console into this. So, you know, even if you're a streamer, you could literally have kind of your streaming software going, but then you actually playing the game all on the same screen as well. You know, it's really kind of a way to revolutionize the way that things are done these. The monitor also includes a nano RPS display, which, which supports a wide color spectrum, 98% of DCI P3 color gamut, uh, and also offers vibrant color reproduction with the support of HDR10. It also has features like uh, like blue low light blue mode and auto brightness correction. So they call that like the ambient light sensor that's inbuilt. So uh, if your light settings change, you know maybe you're going from day to night or someone's you know switching the lights on and off, the screen will actually change brightness um, based on your surroundings. Okay, guys. So that just about does it. So the new Dual Up 28 MQ780 monitor is definitely one of the most fascinating monitors I've ever done a review and unboxing on before. With this really interesting shape, I was kind of a little bit concerned to start with when I saw photos of what it was going to look like set up on the desk. But I've got to admit, I'm incredibly impressed, especially with the with the how ergonomic it is, with all the positions you can move it to, uh, and the fact that it kind of cleans up the desk as, as well. And the actual monitor mount stand is revolutionary. It's got a heap of weight, so I feel really secure having this on there. Uh, it, it's got all the angles you could possibly think of, a lot of connection types. Uh, the resolution is quite decent. It's not something that's excelling, but I think you can kind of be pretty happy with what you're getting considering, I guess, this awkward shape that is new to the whole monitor space. So guys, uh, if you want to have multiple devices, it can be connected up as well. And if you want to be product, if you want to be really productive or unproductive with all your social media scrolling, this can help just you see more and utilize and maximize all the space you've got on your screen. So guys, if you enjoyed that and you want to see more, feel free to visit our website at devicedeal.com.au. And if you want to see more things that are other than just monitors, we also sell a heap of other IT tech gear. We do things like buying guards for security cameras and printers and all things alike. So if it goes and check us out if you want to see anything more. So guys, that's it. We hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.